Welcome to the Biohacking Beauty Podcast, where we dive into the revolutionary world of skincare science. I am your host, Amitai Eshel, the co-founder and CEO of Young Goose, a pioneering force in the biohacking skincare industry. In today's episode, we're unraveling a crucial skincare topic that often stirs up a lot of questions, which is exfoliation. It's akin to the act of sweeping away leaves on a pathway, but in this case, the pathway is your skin, and the leaves are dead skin cells. Exfoliation, for those who are new to the term, is a skincare technique where you're, you remove dead skin cells from the surface of your skin. It's a pivotal step in your skincare routine because it does the essential job of keeping your skin, uh, your skin clean and radiant. Just as you wouldn't paint a wall without prepping it first, you wouldn't apply skincare products on a layer of dead skin cells. Clear skin allows for better absorption and efficacy of skincare products. Before we dive into our engaging conversation, let's hear from uh, one of our valued biohacking beauty listeners. Her name is Susie B., uh, and she writes, this podcast feels like chatting with friends who know a lot about skincare. So thank you very much, Susie. That's very nice to hear. Uh, if you haven't done so already, we would greatly appreciate it if you could spare a moment to leave a rating and review on Apple Podcasts or wherever you're, you're consuming this information. Even a one-word review can make a significant impact. Your support helps our podcast grow enabling us to educate more people about the fascinating world of biohacking beauty. Now, let's get to our subject of today's podcast. So I'd like you to imagine your skin as a bustling city. Buildings, or cells in our case, age and need to be replaced. This urban renewal is a continuous cycle where old cells make way for the new. This process, known as skin cell turnover, is actually crucial for maintaining a healthy, vibrant skin. However, sometimes the demolition crews, your body's natural exfoliation mechanisms, can lag behind, causing a buildup of dead skin cells that can make your skin look dull and can even lead, lead to aging um, and clogged pores. Here's where manual exfoliation comes into play. Think of it as uh, lending a helping hand to this natural renewal process. It accelerates the removal of the old buildings, paving the way for fresh new ones. This ensures your skin stays youthful, vibrant, and beautiful. When it comes to the, the tools we use for this urban renewal, there are two main types mechanical and chemical exfoliation. Mechanical or physical exfoliation involves physically scrubbing the skin with an abrasive. On the other hand, chemical exfoliation involves using ingredients like acids or enzymes that dissolve the glue holding dead skin cells together. Now, you may be wondering which one is right for me. Well, why choose when you can have the best of both worlds? Here at Young Goose, we have a product called Naya Polish that harnesses the power of both chemical and physical exfoliation, providing a comprehensive dual action exfoliating experience with the pomegranate and papaya fruit enzymes to dissolve sk dead skin cells and micro polishing spheres that are organic to gently scrub away any residue it leaves your skin looking and feeling renewed and revitalized. But let's delve in a little bit deeper into the benefits of proper exfoliation. You know, sometimes the most significant breakthroughs come from really unexpected places in anyone's life. This is true in many fields and skin health is no exception. One of those breakthroughs for you could be exfoliation. It's not a new uh, idea, but by any means, but the more we learn about it, the more we realize its incredible potential. I imagine a, uh, for a moment that your skin is a well-tendered garden. You wouldn't expect the most beautiful flowers to grow if the soil were hard and unyielding, would you? That's the same with your skin. 
the surface can become hard and congested over time with dead skin cells acting like a layer of compacted soil, preventing the seeds of our skincare products from taking root. Exfoliation, like turning the soil, can clear the way for better absorption of those products. It can soften the skin surface, revealing a smoother texture and more even skin tone. Consider the pomegranate and papaya fruit enzymes, for example, in Naya Polish. Uh, these aren't your everyday ingredients. They're like skilled gardeners working in a precise, targeted way to remove those old, unneeded cells. And the micropolishing spheres, they're the gardener's rake, sweeping away the remains leaving behind a surface that's primed and ready for growth. And what grows in this well-tendered garden for our skin? Well, it is firmness, vitality, and a youthful glow. The question then is how do you put this knowledge now into practice? It starts with applying um, Naya polish into damp skin, massaging in circular motion. Um, so imagine yourself as a skilled gardener preparing uh, the ground for planting. You wouldn't use a bulldozer to prepare your soil um, in your garden, right? The same goes for your skin. Gentle, slow approach is best. Starting slowly, once a week, you can allow Naya Polish to sit on your skin for a few minutes, one to two minutes, giving the ingredients time to work. As your skin grows accustomed to the product, you can increase the frequency to daily applications and let it sit up to up, up to 10 minutes. Just like a skilled gardener, you'll so, soon be able to read your skin's needs and adapt uh, your approach to create the optimal conditions for growth. In this case, the growth is healthy, vibrant skin. Think again of your skin as, a, as an ecosystem. Each one is unique with its own balance of conditions that make it thrive or wither. It's the same principles as planting crops. You wouldn't plant a sun-loving succulent in the shade, nor a shade-loving fern in the blazing sun. Therefore, Understanding the needs of your uh, unique skin ecosystem is crucial to effective exfoliation. For oily skin, for example, uh, which can often deal with an overabundance of dead skin cells and clogged pores, frequent exfoliation can help maintain a clearer complexion. Dry skin, on the other hand, might require a gentler approach as it can be more sensitive to exfoliation um, and what about combination skin? Well, uh, they might need a bit more careful balancing, much like a gardener tending to a patch with both shade-loving and sun-craving plants. Here's where Young Goose's Naya Polish en enters the picture. Uh, since it's a dual-action exfoliation, the blend of pomegranate and papaya enzymes alongside the micropolishing spheres act like a knowledgeable gardener uh, understanding the needs of the different plants in your skin's ecosystem. The enzymes provide a gentle, natural way to clear away dead skin cells, while the micropolishing spheres uh, finish the job while uh, without being overly abrasive. And with ingredients like nicotinamide and uh, uh, panthenol, it offers the nourishing water your skin needs no matter the type because it increases NAD precursors, it helps cellular turnover, etc. That's why we start with once a week, but we can actually increase it to every day and even leave it on the skin for 10 minutes. So uh, what have we learned today? First of all, we discovered the transformative power of exfoliation, much like the gardener's practice of preparing the soil. It is the groundwork for healthy, vibrant skin. We've uncovered the science behind exfoliation and how a product like Naya Polish, with its blend of enzymatic and physical exfoliation can enhance our skincare routine. And this is really an invitation to experiment responsibly with exfoliation, taking cues from your own skin's needs and responses, and as always, 
to reach out to um, I, I, I'd recommend to reach out to a skincare professional if you're unsure. It's been uh, obviously a pleasure to share this journey of exploration into the world of exfoliation with you. And remember, your skin is a living, breathing ecosystem. And with the right care, it can flourish beyond your wildest imagination and dreams. So until the next time, here's to the gardeners of the world, both in the soil and on our skin. Keep on cultivating. Keep on growing. Uh, that's all for today. As always, don't forget to subscribe and tune to our next enlightening discussion. Thank you and goodbye.